We're going to play some more Radio Engineering. You may notice that some things are a little bit different to how they were at the end of last stream. They don't look necessarily exactly the same, and that's because we are in our new base. We are inside of the beginnings of a pagoda. It's not a fully-fledged pagoda. I'm going to bring those expectations right down again as Apple Doodle enters the fifth age, which is the Ender Age. We're not quite at pagoda levels. It's a work in progress. It takes so long to build, and I don't think that I can, like, currently have the materials to fully build it. This is too large to be a 9x9 nine nine pagoda. It's not a 9x9 nine nine pagoda. Do you realize how ridiculous a 9x9 nine nine pagoda is? You know what? Hold on a second. I've gone to Mr. Ninja's base so many times. I've even put a waypoint down. This, I believe, is a 9x9 nine nine pagoda. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Look how small this pagoda is. Could you imagine me trying to fit all of our stuff into this 9x9 nine nine space? It would be absolutely ludicrous. Like, ridiculous. It's, it's not enough space. Look at this. Look at this. I commend what Mr. Ninja has managed to achieve with such small, with such a small amount of space, but it's not, it's not, it's not feasible, guys. It's not feasible. Cozy? Yes. <laughs> I don't see the problem. What's the problem with that? It's, it's way too small. Like, way too small. Way too small. Also, Mr. Ninja did um, message me in Discord and was like, hey, I've, um, I've put something inside of the um inside of my, my pagoda for the amount of times that you come over here and uh, i was not aware that this was uh, <laughs> that this was possible but this is the uh, the turkey emote from our twitch chat superimposed onto a very large screen from uh, extra utilities which i did not know exist apparently this is being pulled like from the internet i haven't like adjusted my texture pack or anything so it's just a screen with a big old picture of, of, of me as a turkey on it and i mean it's it's perfect. It's perfect. We need to figure out how these screens work. How do those? How expensive are those to make? And Mr. Ninja, I know you're in the Twitch chat. How? I mean, Ender Shard, Stone Bird. It's not terribly hard to do. How hard is it to set this up? Because I can't see any wiring of any kind, and these don't look like panels or anything. So it looks like the screen. Oh my goodness. Oh, so you've just you've just uploaded it to Imager and then like selected the screen. That's 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 interesting. All right. <laughs> It looks great in game, to be honest. Yeah, it does. It looks um, it's it's one of the few emotes that I think looks a lot better blown up because it's got quite a bit of detail on it that you can't really see in the Twitch chat. But nevertheless, guys, it's not a nine by nine pagoda. But I have upgraded our pagoda a little bit. It's not really a pagoda yet. Right now, it's starting to look more like a corporate tower that you'd see in like I don't know downtown New York or something. But it's getting there, slowly but surely. Eventually, we will put on uh, some stairs. We'll make it look a little bit better, and hopefully at some point, it will look uh, almost as good as Mr. Ninja's. But for the time being, uh, we do not have that yet. We do not have that. We have this, and also a lot of our stuff is still kind of out here in the open. You'll notice that the, the greenhouse obviously is going to stay out here. The wind turbine is probably going to stay on the greenhouse, and for the time being, I really would like to move the atomic reconstructor inside, and I'd also like to put all of this stuff somewhere inside as well at some point. But one of the hard things that's, that we have to do is move all of these Industrial Craft 2 machines into our base, preferably without breaking them all, right? Because we've got all of these machines, and if you break them with a pickaxe, uh, you're guaranteed that they will just break, and you'll get back a machine casing, which in the case of machines, especially like the Metal Former, which are expensive to make. We could make new ones because we have like the diamonds and the gold and the iron to make them, but they're really expensive and I don't want to do that, right? So I want to be able to move all this stuff into our base without any of it breaking. And I think that we might be able to do that if we get the electric wrench. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but I think that the normal wrench from Industrial Craft 2, which is really easy to make and which uh, we have used a little bit up until now, the normal wrench gives you like a percentage chance of getting your machine. So there's like a certain percent chance you'll get the machine and a certain percent chance that it will turn into, a, into like a basic machine casing, which is not what we want. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that with the electric wrench, we can set it to a lossless mode so that we never lose it. So if we pick up the machine with the electric wrench in a certain mode, we are guaranteed to get our machine back. Is this true? All cardboard boxes. We do have mechanism in the pack, and thus, this will be somewhat easy. Spawner relocator requires two... Nutritious sticks, which require 
<laughs> which require, of course, a stick and then a bucket of nutrient distillation. What else would you need to make this freaking cardboard? Hey, okay, well, thank you, <laughs> thank you for the suggestion. Requires 20 million redstone flux to make. Thank you very much for the suggestion for the cardboard box. It's a good idea, but unfortunately, the cardboard box is too expensive. Normal wrench is now 100% lossless. Is this true? Can someone confirm this? Can someone confirm that this is like a 100% chance guaranteed? Because if it is, that's fine. We have yet to see a machine break. I thought we were being a bit lucky. But if it's just like the, the, it's been changed so that the normal wrench is 100%, we can do that fairly easily. Um, so down here, by the way, this is where all of our stuff is. Uh, for the moment, we've got our uh, cook oven, we've got our blast furnace, we've got our smeltery. Uh, all are set up in the same way. This is just like embedded in the wall now. Uh, we've got the uh, the casting base and the casting table, our chest, which has still got all the same stuff that it had in it before. Um, I've put the part builder here and then the uh, little chest behind it just so I could fit all of the Tinker stuff kind of into this uh, somewhat small space. I did make some more storage drawers. So over here, uh, we now have... Kind of a wall of storage drawers building. Uh, one thing that I do want to make at some point fairly early on uh, in today's stream is a draw key so that we can actually lock all of these drawers so that even if I do take everything out of a storage drawer, it will still display the image and it will still be kind of locked to that specific item. The base looks, the basement looks nice and organized for now. I did try. I tried my best. We've got all these chests. Uh, quite a lot of them uh, are empty. Uh, and the ones that do have stuff in them, this is the only organized chests i tried to make my blocks chest again with all of the blocks in here but everything else is a bit of a mess at the moment um i'm not gonna lie i tried to take out pretty much everything that we used regularly uh, and everything that we had a lot of and put it into these storage drawers so that we can keep um you know accessing them fairly easily I've, I've even left a little space at the bottom here for where i want to put the draw controller which i don't think is too far that's not the draw controller i want the draw controller i don't think it's too far out of our grasp because we can make the carpenter now we have a sturdy casing and once we've got the carpenter getting a basic circuit requires four redstone ingots which is fine it's made in the scientific calculator we're going to have to make some of those in today's episode anyway to make machines like the thermionic fabricator and the apiary and stuff like that to get into uh, forestry some more two diamonds is really easy the only hard parts of these circuits, which, again, I don't think, he says as he looks at the, the recipe here, I don't think are too bad. We do need an atomic, I mean, what? Hold on, there's got to be, hold on. There has to be an easier way to make some of these things. Processing chamber, restoration chamber, and the reassembly chamber. There has to be an easier way to make this stuff, right? analyzing chamber atomic do we have to make an atomic calculator no because you can't no no diamond leaves excuse me <laughs> extract chance 0.2 percent what is it so it says that we the hold on atomic triggers age eight dynamic calculator can we make this? No, it still requires an atomic calculator. Am I am I fooling myself, guys? No, you don't need the atomic calculator. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. So how would I go about making this? I'm assuming I have to make either the restoration chamber or the reassembly chamber. This one looks significantly easier because we have the scientific calculator. That would still be very expensive diamond-wise, but not um, as bad. And then is the reassembly chamber even cheaper? Four enriched gold is easy enough. Four weakened diamonds are not cheap, but easy enough. It's only one diamond, and you get four of them. And then finally, the extraction chamber, which is four reinforced stone, easy enough. Four more weakened diamonds, easy enough for a power cube. Okay, that is something that we can do. So we can actually get to that point, hopefully at some point in the near future. Maybe even in today's stream, we will find out in the future. Um, did I get a consensus on this wrench thing? I saw someone say, risk it for a biscuit. I mean, I'd rather not, but if it comes down to it, I could just do it. I'm assuming the top recipe doesn't work. Yeah. I really do wish that the top recipe for the basic circuit, which needs, uh, which you need in order to get the draw controller, uh, actually worked as something like six tin on one redstone. But unfortunately, you do have to go through the one that requires uh, requires redstone. Oh, version. So someone's quoting the changelog now. Version 2.3.222 of IC2. Every wrenching operation is now lossless. Well, we're going to find out. Okay. One down. And it's we've, we've still got all of our machines. Uh, also... Our uh, solar distiller has been doing a fairly good job since the end of last stream. We've got five buckets uh, worth of distilled water, which should help us in making some overclockers, which I might do 
maybe before we even move some of this stuff, um, let me see here. What do we what do we need again for overclock? Because really, we're only after the 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 fluid, right? We need the coolant fluid, which requires the universal fluid cells, and we have to put one piece of lapis in. I think into the into here with one bucket of this, so we can make five of these fluid cells, right, with the 5,000 millibuckets that we have over here, which I think will probably be worth doing, right? Um, and I guess the fastest way to do this might just be to pull it out of there with a bucket and put it into there with a bucket, if that is uh, indeed how that works. But before we do this, let's have a look. Oh, it worked. Okay, so that's our most expensive machine, which I like. Boom, it worked. Boom, it worked. Okay, I am starting to believe that the person in chat was right. Thank you very much, Grapass. I believe that the... Um, there is a 100% chance, which makes life a lot easier. It would have been um, a little a little annoying. And also, I really don't like... <laughs> it scares me whenever I see these uh, these bl like pink and black blocks. They look horrifying, and they just... They, they, they make me think that a crash is incoming, which I really don't want. Uh, oh, Isaac, can you never stay on task? We've got so much stuff to do, right? We've got so much stuff to do. I need to move my machines. I need to set the stuff up again so we can actually use it. We need to move on and start working on Forestry Bees. We need to get the controller for the storage drawers. There's so much stuff to do. Um, and I, yeah, I, I guess I can't stay on track for, for too long. Um, what do you reckon, Chad? Do you reckon we should put our machines down here? I don't want to, like, I guess I will do just because we've got everything else down here. But I kind of wanted to uh, spread the base out a little bit. I don't want all of our stuff to kind of be down in this in this dark basement. But uh, it will it would seem like that is uh, what has become the case nonetheless here. So uh, I guess what we'll do is we'll do like this, 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 and this. And then we'll throw down like our metal farmer smack bang in the middle because this is the guy that we use pretty much the most often here. And then I guess we can throw down... Um, we can put like the macerator or the extracting like here. Uh, we still we do still need like a bit of a different setup for the macerator. Um, and I guess this time around we could make it look a little bit better if we did something like this. And then we put the electron. Uh, if we put the electric furnace down beneath it, that would make um, a lot of sense. Bees, yeah, we do have to start on bees um, at some point soon, and we'll probably start it in today's episode. I was reading through the guide a little bit before the stream started, and of course it mentions uh, getting into bee breeding and tree breeding kind of early. I've still not done anything uh, in the way of tree breeding, so that'll be a whole new experience for me personally, um, but... Yeah, we do have to set our bees going. And also, bees take a long time. So, the kind of like I said it and forget it kind of deal, at least when you start out, you put the bees in and then you've got to go do some other stuff and then come back and do it later. Uh, upgrade to the induction smelter. That's not a terrible idea. Um, right now, it's probably, I mean, all it requires is an advanced machine casing and then copper. Right now, I'm probably not going to do it simply because of the fact that um, the speed at which we smelt ores is not really a problem right now. It's kind of just, it, it's fine. You know, we can kind of, again, set it and forget it and come back later. And I'm glad that that worked. Did we get our blast furnace? We did. <laughs> not, not like we ever used this blast furnace, really, but uh, I'm glad that we have it nonetheless. And um, also, we're still a little tight when it comes to uh, EU partic. We don't have that much power coming down uh, from our wind turbine. And so, like, using a constant amount of energy to keep the, indu uh, the induction furnace running throughout the, the series would be quite expensive. So we will do it at some point, but a little bit lower on down uh, the line, we will switch it up. Uh, how do you plan to get EU from the windmill down underground to the machines? Um, well, I don't know if you know this, but there are these cables that you can use to transfer energy. I'm sorry, but we'll probably just put the, um, the wind turbine up at the top of the pagoda. It might look silly. It might look fine. And then we'll just run down a really long glass fiber cable right down to the basement and then connect it up in here. Uh, like I said, it'll probably, and by probably, I mean almost certainly look a little bit ridiculous, but uh, it will do the job just fine, I think. So uh, this is fine. We need to put in the ejector upgrade that puts stuff out at the bottom. Uh, this one is putting stuff out on the north side, which is one of these sides. This side is putting stuff out on the back. Oh, no, yes, of course, because I was going to do... Let's not break it with our pick, even though I'm fairly certain uh, that this doesn't use a machine casing, so I should be fine. Uh, I think we were doing, like, this, and then we had, like, a chest beneath it, didn't we? I guess what we can do now is just go over, and I should turn F3 off, because it's very intrusive. But uh, over here, we've got some spare chests. Uh, I did have to make a few more when I was moving all the stuff over, uh, and I guess we can just throw this down, like, uh, one second. We'll do this, and then this, and then we'll whack that auto-extract upgrade into there, and the system should work. The system should work. Nom nom nom. I do see the nom nom noms in, in Twitch chat. And I also uh, did get a little bit of wheat before the stream started. I went over to my wheat farm and did just a little bit of harvesting. That's not what I want to do. <laughs> As I was talking, I was thinking, hey, Isaac, you turkey, don't 
make bread. You have to make a baguette. And to make a baguette, you just craft the wheat up like so. And I didn't do it. Gosh dang it. It's fine. Uh, bread, whilst not as good as baguettes, is it, it does the job. It does the job, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Uh, so, we've got this. Um, I am going to leave everything else where it is kind of for the time being let me quickly see where is our nearest bucket if we press t oh no not what i had to do uh, if we press t on this thing it is in this chest and we'll probably be doing a lot of that uh, in today's stream similarly due to the fact that i don't know where a lot of my stuff is now it's kind of in one of these chests and uh, if it's not in the storage drawers i do kind of have to guess a little bit we'll put the bonds back in there we will take a couple of these we shouldn't need that many though because apparently with the um the distilled water that we get from our solar distillery over here, we only need one piece of lapis dust, and I am now realizing uh, that our macerator is over here and doesn't have access to a good source of power, but that's fine. We've got our generator, and you know what? For the time being, I'm going to put this really, like, ugly-ass hole in the wall, like so, kapow, and then we'll we'll stick the lapis in like so. We'll grab a little bit of coal, we'll get that thing going, uh, and then we'll change it and make it look a bit better in the future. Fail on bread making? Tell me about it. Uh, so we'll put you in there. That should work out just fine, um, albeit not particularly fast. We could put overclockers in there, but I don't think it's going to uh, keep up, that being the generator. So we could put some redstone in. Uh, it is, as always, a bit of a waste of redstone, but we could do it nevertheless. Uh, so this is almost done. We're probably not going to need six. Uh, it's probably a bit overkill, but nevertheless, we'll take it. Uh, we'll head on over. Hopefully, we can pull out the distilled water using our bucket. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, though, because we can't put water into the... Um, uh, into the canning machine using the bucket. So I, I'm not quite sure with Industrial Craft 2 machines anymore. I have no idea. All right. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, dokie. So if we take this stuff, can we take this out of here? No, but we can do this or this. No, none of the above. <sighs> um, what we might be able to do, though, is potentially use the fluid transfer to pull it out of the distillery and down into the, the bottom bit. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So, let's head back down again. Do we have... Where, okay, I'm going to have to look in here again, right? Transfer node. Where is my fluid transfer node? It's over here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, we'll take this. We'll take you. Will this work? I have no idea. We're going to find out. Hopefully, it will. Um, but, again, it, it, it's... Oh, we're going to need more pipes. <laughs> we're going to need another pipe as well, aren't we? Is there an easier way of moving this out yet? Uh, you need the universal fluid cell. Uh, we've got some universal fluid cells here. Do I have to use these to pull out of the distillery is that how that works like if i do this or this no okay what if i do this or this no not, none of the above worked brilliant um in that case then i guess the best thing for us to do here will probably be to move that let me see if this and th not that <laughs> this this and this Okay, so that totally works, which is good. And then if I pick this up with our wrench here, it will not break because... Uh, will it break? <laughs> Excuse me? Where the heck did that go? I saw it kind of fly up there a little bit. Did it get caught by this? No, it did not. Did we... Did we... Did we just lose our canning machine? Oh, is it... In? No? Okay. Um... Well, anyone in Twitch chat see where that went? Yeah, no, did I just lose that? I mean, <laughs> I mean, I feel like I shouldn't. Oh, no, it's here. It's like right in my inventory, you turkey. All right, there we go. So let's go start filling that up. And then now if we do this uh, up here, we need to switch the mode uh, to the fluid enrich, and then we can put these in at the top left, the lapis lazuli in the middle, and that should start to get us stuff, but I feel like we've messed up here in the fact that we've got uh, these over on this side. This is not... This is not how this was supposed to, to go down. Oh, no. Have we messed this up big time? Can we send it back? I want it to go back the other way. No. <laughs> what? Oh, no. We don't have any power. We don't have any power. Hold on. Hold on. If we do this. There we go. Nope. <laughs> I was going to say there we go, but it's not, it's not doing anything. You have distilled water in each side of the tank. I'm aware of this. <laughs> I'm aware of the problem we are currently facing. I do not wish to have uh, distilled water in each side of the tank, but I am unaware of a way to get distilled water. Oh, there we go. So that works. Okay, that's fine. So that's working out nicely now. I feel like we lost a little bit of distilled water there, uh, but nevertheless, it should work. and It should get us um, some more coolant. It's probably only going to get us three um, because we don't quite have 4,000 millibuckets here unless we can do like this but i have a feeling that that's not going to work oh yeah it totally did 
what the heck? I have, pff, I have no idea anymore, chat. I have no idea, but that's going to get us far with these. It's not like the fourth one matters too much anyway, uh, because it takes three to make ourselves a set of overclockers. We do get two overclockers um, at a time, I believe, which is quite nice, uh, but... That's, that's fine. That's fine. So let's put all that stuff up. Um, we have our compressor, which can come with us. I will get rid of you. And you is this faster with a pickaxe? Like, probably, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, we can move the solar panel. Again, I'm not quite sure where we're going to put it. We're going to have to run quite a bit of cabling uh, to get stuff down into the basement from here on out. And especially uh, for this wind turbine, ha, that thing is, um, it's going to take so long to move. I'm starting to feel like we should have left this and uh, I should have moved it all between stream, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, is this done? It is done. We need to put a little bit of this in here and I have messed up again. Really? I can't, I can't, <laughs> really? You can't, you know what? I don't care. I, I, no, you know what? No. No, 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 no. I could have probably just moved that around. That probably was a waste of lapis. But you know what? I am done with this machine. I am done with that machine. Gosh dang it. And then once we've done this, once we've made our overclockers, uh, I think the next thing that we need to work on, is it this? No? Oh, no, I have to. Of course. Of course. I forget every time I have to craft these up with some tin. Yeah, some tin plates. Okay, do I have, next question, tin plates? The answer may surprise you. Uh, the answer is no, <laughs> Isaac. No, you do not. And I am quite surprised. I thought we would definitely uh, have some of those lined about. I am going to take those iron plates because they're definitely uh, going to come in useful. Um, I don't think that our metal former is online. <laughs> it's not. Uh, we'll put one, two, three, four, and then, you know, we'll put some redstone in. We'll put some redstone in. Uh, it should be fine. Uh, I think we need, I'm going to do 12 of these. If so, that's way too much redstone. Yeah, we do. We need 12. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, in that case, let me take this out of here. I'm going to use my forge hammer. I know it's wasteful. Um, and I know we should really have probably done this in hindsight uh, before we actually moved all of our stuff. But we've got these. Let me just throw the forge hammer, which is down here. That's my baguette. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okie dokie. Let us craft those up, and we will have a couple more overclockers, and at which point uh, we can move on and start working on some of the new forestry stuff. So, boom, and by new forestry stuff, I mean the forestry stuff that's been out for like a trillion years now, but we have to do in this pack anyway. Uh, here we go, because forestry is like one of the oldest mods about. Um, we can put this in here for now. We're not going to use it um, just yet, but that's fine. Those are ready to go and ready to make our lives just a bit easier uh, in the future, which is quite nice. So, let us see. Carpenter. Do we have an easy way to make this? It requires six bronze ingots, two glass, and then one steady casing, which we do have uh, because we made it in order to enter uh, the fourth edge here. So I press T. It should be in one of my chests. It is indeed. Let me grab this guy as well as one, two, three, four, five, six bronze. And then I think we've got glass. <laughs> like, I'm fairly certain. Again, I should just check in here. Glass and T. Yeah, we do. Okay. Uh, we only need one piece, which is good. And then if we... Oh, no, we don't. We need two pieces, like so. Into the crafting table. Kapow. Kaboom. Six bonds and a sturdy casing. Nice. And we get ourselves a carpenter. So, to the best of my knowledge, this thing does require some redstone flux. And so we should come on back over here. Rip that one tin. Did I leave a tin somewhere? Hey, baguettes are obviously great hammers. I mean... I don't know if that's necessarily true. They feel like kind of garbage hammers to me. Um, and also, this is this is horrible. I don't like having to work out here like this. But it uh, can't work. It cannot work because it doesn't have a recipe, which is fine. Uh, so now we've got our carpenter. Um, the thermionic fabricator is something that we are going to have to use uh, in order to make some of the circuits. So, for example, if we wanted to make ourselves a forestry farm, right? We need to get a lot of farming blocks and we need to get ourselves a lot of... Um, we got uh, not a lot. We have to get ourselves like one farming hatch, one farming valve, as well as one farm controller. And a lot of this stuff requires some form of electron tube. And electron tubes are made in the thermionic fabricator. Of course, you have to use the harder recipe. The easier recipe does not work. And to make the thermionic fabricator, we do need another one of these sturdy casings. Thankfully, uh, in all of our display stands now, we have more than half a million redstone fluxes. So filling this up and getting another one of those sturdy casings shouldn't be too hard for us whatsoever. Um, and if we wanted to set up, it might not be a terrible idea, actually, for us to set up a forestry farm. We could set it up to be maybe a wheat farm, uh, maybe even a tree farm, uh, if we wanted to. And I think going forward, we are going to need seed oil. Uh, if we look at the ender, uh, sorry, the machine casing from Ender.io, it's not called machine casing. That is Industrial Craft 2. It is called the chassis. 
if we look at the machine chassis from Endryer, this thing requires uh, to be made, it needs to be made in the carpenter, but it also requires seed oil, and we get seed oil uh, through the use of Forestry Farm. Uh, we can put things in the squeezer, and we get more miller buckets of seed oil if we farm things uh, that are kind of higher on the food chain, you know? And you can see, like, rice seeds and pumpkin seeds, and I think wheat seeds uh, also only give you 10 miller buckets, so that's fine. We could set up a wheat farm, and we could get quite a bit of seed oil, but... If we want to get a good amount of seed oil, we want to work towards something like the walnut farm, or the walnut tree, I believe it is, that gives us the walnuts, that will then give us 180 millibuckets of seed per walnut, as well as things like the chestnut and the cherry. But to do these, we have to get the, the trees, the respective trees for each of those seeds, right? Uh, so, how does one go about getting a common walnut tree. A common walnut tree is a cross between a silver lime tree and a hill cherry tree. There's a 10% chance of getting the common walnut. And then for both of these, we don't have, obviously. Silver lime is silver birch and apple oak. And I think silver birch, is silver birch just like a default tree? A default silver? Like a default birch? And is apple oak, maybe not? You know, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what the uh, what the recipe's in there, but that's fine. Uh, we can start out small. We can start out with a basic farm. We can start out by uh, by just making ourselves a, a wheat farm and then move on from there when we want to get more stuff. But, 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 but let's get back on track. Before we get too far into the, the forestry side of things, I would like to make um, a, do a storage draw draw key, which is an easy thing to do, as well as hopefully a draw controller. And the only hard part about this is, of course, the basic control circuit. So to make all of these circuits here in the middle, I think we're going to have to make this guy here, the reassembly chamber, which requires the extraction chamber, which needs a power cube, four weakened diamonds, and four reinforced stone. The weakened diamonds uh, do require our scientific calculator, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, we made at the end of last episode. Somebody has put... Um, a link to cherry trees here. Let me qu quickly check this. Are these like naturally spawning cherry trees or are these like somebody's base cherry trees? These look like somebody's... Oh no, these are just naturally spawning cherry trees in the village? That is odd. So can we just like take these? Uh, they don't spawn naturally. Okay, so somebody has put these here. So it would be, I planted them. Right, okay. In that case, I'm not going to take them. Uh, just because I want to just do them on my own. If they were there naturally, uh, it would be a different story. Uh, but did we make the scientific calculator last stream or the stream before? I think we might have done. And so I think getting these weakened diamonds shouldn't be a problem for us. Yeah, I think we definitely made this. So let's head on back uh, into our uh, pseudo pagoda half, you know, sky rise power and uh, let's see here so i think most of our calculators and by that i mean both of our calculators are in over here and if we want to make let me let me change this up so i'm not going through like the the crafting chain every time i want to make the reassembly chamber reassembly chamber for this we need four weakened diamonds which we, okay this is this is easy this is easy peasy so one redstone and one gold should get us in the basic calculator uh, the four enriched gold that we need right it does. Cool. Uh, the hardened stone, which we need for this thing, or the reinforced stone, I believe is just wood and stone. Correct? It is indeed. And we already had that uh, in the calculator. So one, two, three, and four. Cool stuff. And then finally, all we need here are really just eight weakened diamonds, which are made in the scientific calculator with reinforced iron, which is normal iron, and more reinforced stone. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is actually super easy. Okay, dog. So if we open up our scientific calculator no <laughs> if we open up a normal calculator cobblestone wood i'm just gonna craft up a bunch of that stuff because i know we're going to need quite a lot of it and then if we do this and this but we do it in the correct calculator which is this one uh we need what four of these two of these at least i'm gonna take two because we need just two to make the the eight of the the weakened diamonds there and then the power cube of the reinforced stone. I think we have pretty much everything we need here. We don't have the power cube, obviously, uh, but we can make that uh, fairly easily. All we need now, I think, is two diamonds. Like so, in the scientific calculator, with our two uh, reinforced iron, that's going to get us the eight weakened diamonds. And then finally, for the power cube here in the middle, we need two compressed cobalt, six cobblestone, and a block of redstone. Thankfully, I'm fairly certain that we did make quite a bit of cold dust from Industrial Craft 2, uh, either in last stream or the stream before. It's kind of, um, oh, do we have more though? Yes, we do. I was going to say, I thought I made like a stack almost. That's not a stack. I guess we made a lot of it into carbon plates, which in hindsight, again, uh, not the greatest idea in the world, but uh, we could take two lots of those. That's going to get us one carbon ball here. Oh no, that's a completely different um, recipe, isn't it? 
Uh, assembly. What was I making here? I was making this guy. We need the um, the compressed core balls, which are made with flint. Of course, of course, of course. I messed up again here by crafting up uh, the raw carbon mesh. Wait, wait, wait. We need a lot of coal dust, right? So we need uh, 16 coal dust. So uh, let me just take like a bunch of this. Boom, boom. Stick that into the macerator. Uh, so this should uh, take not too long. I guess, again, we could put our overclockers in. Four overclockers are going to be way too much for this. Uh, although, yeah, it's going to burn through this here, isn't it? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. It's going to take a little while, but it shouldn't take too, too long. And then once we've got that, we should be fairly easily able to make all of this. And at that point, I'm assuming that we can use the reassembly chamber here. Processing speed is 100 ticks. Energy used is 10,000 RF per operation. And it consumes 10 RF per tick. <laughs> so we are going to have to put it outside again. Um, part of me does want to make another coal generator from... Um, from actual additions just because we uh we're going to need a lot of power in the near future we don't really have it right now um, a lot of our power is kind of already tied up in um but we're, the power that we are producing is not a large amount you know we've got a little bit of it uh, and, and, and also we should probably move our compressor right because we're not going to use i don't think the fluid canning machine uh, much more here uh, but we're not producing that much power right um we're producing a little bit of power i think like 40 red stone flux particularly the normal coal generator and then an extra 100 uh, while we can have the um the canola generator running but the canola generator is a little bit trickier to, to keep going you know it's a bit more expensive uh, i'm gonna get i'm gonna put some redstone in here it'll be fine it'll be fine so we got this let us craft up uh, another one of these uh coal eggs which are called coal balls but look very much uh, like kind of spotty eggs we are missing some more flint which we do have uh, in abundance and i've just got some and i've already forgotten where it is but i found it again let's go throw you in the middle and kaput. we've got two of these stick these into the compressor that should turn them very nicely into what we're after and just a little bit more coal should do us the job we do need to um <laughs> we really need to move our we've got so much eu being produced and we're just leaving it over there we need to move it back over uh, especially like the solar panel that shouldn't be too hard for us to set up um so now we've got this going uh, i need to uh, i need to just basically see how this works because i have no idea whatsoever we'll stick that in the power will run down real quickly here uh, and whilst we're waiting we should probably grab uh, enough redstone to make a block as well as enough cobblestone one two three four five six and i think guys we've got everything that we need so we'll take all of you craft those up over here like so block of redstone in the middle two uh, of these compressed coal balls either side and then cobblestone all around like so anchor power we have ourselves a power cube power cube in the middle and then if i'm not mistaken it looks something like this with the reinforced stone around the outside like that and then finally that gets us the extraction chamber hold on a second hold on a second we're trying to make uh, the controller right uh, the draw controller from storage drawers is that not an option restoration and reassembly no okay i thought it might have been one of these the um the extraction chamber here alas it is not but i think if we do this um oh, not like this if we do this and then finally this if i can craft correctly uh, we get the reassembly table so uh, the idea here is that we can make these circuits in the reassembly table so we can make them this circuit using a damaged circuit and the damaged circuit really <laughs> really i need another extraction chamber uh, but the, well, the extraction chamber wasn't too bad but we can make uh, this in the extraction chamber with cobblestone and that's it that'll get us the damaged circuit right okay 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 that makes sense so we got this thing now uh, let's place it down again eh, it's gonna look a little bit off and uh, we put this here apparently all we have to do is put in cobblestone um all right so this should be working no oh resume it is working it's just real slow how is this doing so this is horrible <laughs> like actually i hate it uh let's see here circuit uh, that's not a circuit we're after the uh draw controller again so if we want to be able to make this here basic control circuit what are you telling me chat is that we need these three different circuits which all will originally start as broken circuits or damaged circuits and the way that you get damaged circuits is by putting cobblestone through the extraction chamber and each time you have a 12.5 percent chance of getting one of those damaged circuits of which we need three so 
<laughs> there's like a one in eight chance of getting any circuit whatsoever, and we need three of those circuits. What's that? That's like that's that's a ridiculously low percentage. That's like let me see, let me run some. That's like oh, it's so small. <laughs> it's like, this is gonna take forever, like actually forever. I kind of want to just set this and leave it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this like right there. I'm hoping that's going to pull out the small stone. Of course it doesn't. That'd be far too easy. No? <laughs> really? You're not going to... You're not going to let me do that? What is this mod? So, do I just have to come and check up on this every so often and hope that it has a circuit in it? And if it does have a circuit in it, then leave it? I mean... <laughs> What is this? You can configure the size of those machines to output the circuits. How does one go about doing this? Is it through a wrench or is it through uh, some other means? If we go to at calculator, is there some kind of conductor mast <laughs> transmitter? Is there some kind of wrench that we can use? Uh, hey, I can give you the circuit and you can give some back once you have them. But like, <laughs> how does this work though? Do we just leave it? Uh, you need a calculator wrench. Uh, set that to output. Okay. Let's have a look. Calculator. That's nice. But calculator cal. Calculator. <laughs> Don't worry, chat. Uh, what is the name of the calculator wrench? Thank you for the offer, Eros2. Uh, but I think I'll hold off for now. Um, I'm assuming it's from... It's like somewhere... There we go. The PA wrench, I assume, is what we need. We need a reinforced pickaxe and a reinforced sword. Which is just, oh, it's easy enough. Okay. Uh, okay, let me get like a normal calculator here and let's do this and this. And I'll just take all of these for now. Why not? And then we should be able to make our two reinforced tools here. And actually, the wrench uh, is then not too bad. So if we do this and sticks, question mark, do we have any sticks? Yeah, we got sticks everywhere. Okay, this is good. Like four different chests with sticks in it. Flipping out. You can see how good my, um, <laughs> my inventory management is. Flipping out. Uh, so is it just... This and this, it is. Okie dokie. So we got this. Uh, so we can configure the sides to output here. This is going to make life a little bit easier. Uh, will it? I don't know. I guess we're going to... I was going to say, will it auto output? Uh, and I can test this here if I just grab uh, this chest. Because if it will auto output, I'd very much like to not have to use the hopper. But um, we'll see. In JEI, you can search like wrench at calculator. Really? So if I type in wrench space at calculator, that is actually really cool. I had no idea that, that was a thing. Thank you very much for that, um, Laco, Laco, in the chat. That's really useful. Any, any look? No, of course not. Okie dokie. Uh, so can I do, so that's output. If I do this, does that output? No. <laughs> do I have to press the eject button? No, I don't know what, I don't know what that button does, right? <laughs> I have no idea what that button does, uh, but that didn't work. So I'm assuming then, hopefully, that this will work if I do that and then do this yes that works okay cool i'll set this back to green again why not so it would seem then that we just have to leave this and and wait and come back in a century or so and, <laughs> and just hope that that everything is good uh, so i did notice that um if we if we look at the recipe here again for the um the broken circuits, which are these ones over here, the damaged circuits. Uh, there is the precision chamber as opposed to the extraction chamber. And I believe the precision chamber has a 100% chance. Now, to make this, we need four fire diamonds, which require the atomic calculator. And the atomic calculator is where we got stuck because for the atomic calculator, uh, we need four flawless diamonds, which are made somehow. Analyzing chamber? Not point... Yeah, okay. I mean... <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take a quick step back uh, from that mod real quick here. Uh, but does that mean that we can't move? I don't think it does. I was gonna say does that mean we can't move into forestry. I don't necessarily think it does because, for example, uh, if we wanted to get ourselves um, an apiary for uh, for bees, we want to start getting into bees. We just need um, another impregnated casing, not another. We need a impregnated casing which is made with a little bit of seed oil in a carpenter, which is made with another sturdy casing, some more bronze which we already have. We've got the carpenter. So we can get into bees, which I think is what we might do here whilst we wait for this thing, because this looks like it's going to take a while. You know, we've only got a one in eight chance of actually getting something here. So in theory, this next one should be the one that does it for us. The next one should be the eighth 
one. <laughs> and so maybe that will work, although I am um, skeptical. Uh, also, it would probably be a good idea to get like a hopper on this to keep cobblestone pumping in and also to get a cobblestone, not a cobblestone, to get a hopper on our coal generator and then constantly have uh, the coal just from here like pumping in as well to make sure uh, that it constantly has fuel. Did it? Is it still running? N no? Why? <laughs> oh, no, it is going. I don't know why it paused there for a second, but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not going to mess with that mod too much just yet. So, bees. Bees.